One of the biggest things we see today in the medical community is diabetes and the complications of diabetes. Especially as a podiatric physician, I see a lot of diabetic foot ulcers. Our biggest concern is diabetic foot ulcers that are chronic because it gives us great concern for the patients because they can have other comorbidities involved. One of the things we like to consider is living skin equivalents. This has been a really big uh, advent of change for us in treating wounds that are chronic in this type of uh, environment. We've been using the living skin equivalents for wounds that have been chronic and converting the wounds to an acute type of wound. So there's a lot of different options for us there and you have to take into consideration preparing the wound bed itself and actually knowing your patient. That is probably of utmost importance. You want to know the patient, you want to know what the wound stage is and you want to know where you want to go with this. We have different types of living skin equivalents that cover both the epidermal as well as the dermal skin and help us just increase the wound to close faster so that we don't have the bacteria colonization and then the comorbidities and also hospitalization that goes with this. Uh, we've used a lot of that at Temple University and we have different case studies that we are involved in right now and we're excited to see where this leads in the future as part of a regular protocol of care.